Hey guys, how's it going? So, the Avengers Age of Ultron, uh, they had some, I guess, fun facts, you know, revealed, um, which, you know, shed some new details on characters. So if you want nothing, to, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to know anything about the movie, I know some people are like that, they don't want to see any trailers or anything like that, they want to be 110% surprised. So if you're one of those people, I recommend you leave this video. If you want to know some details, I recommend you stay. So the first one is something I think everybody knew, uh, Hulk's getting stretchy pants. That's pretty awesome. Basically, they're made so they don't rip, and so Hulk is not left naked uh, when he hulks out. Uh, the second one is Hawkeye getting an upgrade due to Tony Stark's, you know, engineering ability. And, uh, you know, they said that some of them will be explained, uh, but others will not be. So, you know, it's like advances to his arrows, his quiver, you know, the type of arrows he has, um, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, you, you you can only do so much with Hawkeye in regards to upgrades because of his you know skill set and things like that. So I'm not really surprised that you know it's this kind of modest you could say. Um, Captain America's is something that a lot of people have been you know kind of asking for to a certain degree, and it's basically two magnets that are on his shield and also on his gauntlets that attract to each other um, at his request. So presumably he'd press a button or something like that. And it causes these super magnets to bring the shield back to his gauntlet, which is pretty cool. I'm sure that's going to really come in handy in this movie, as you know we've seen stuff happen in the trailers, like Thor, ham like Thor hitting his shield into the enemy with the hammer. Um, I'm pretty sure it saves Cap a lot of time not having to run over there if he can just call back the shield in a similar way to how Thor can call back his hammer or Tony Stark can call his armor to him. And actually, it'd be pretty cool if Tony makes a little joke about Thor calling his hammer back being similar because obviously if you've seen the stuff so far you know Tony's very skeptical on any mysticism whatsoever that you know Thor has with this hammer uh, he thinks it's all like signs like DNA prints and stuff like that uh, Black Widows Black Widows is also very modest just like Hawkeye's pretty much she has those stingers uh, we saw them in Captain America it's pretty much the same thing a little bit more powerful and it's in these Extrema sticks she has, pretty much. Um, they're not exactly Extrema sticks, but they're based on Extrema sticks. So, basically, uh, she's still a very close-range fighter. It's nothing too big. Um, and also, you know, they give some details on, you know, the sets, like the Avengers Tower, the Quinjet. I'm not going to go really into those too much. But um, the also really cool ones is we finally get to understand what the power set is of Scarlet Witch. And it's Telekinesis. And also, she has the ability to fire neurons into people's brains, uh, remotely using her powers, which can manipulate their minds, which presumably will be how we have that scene where everyone sees visions and things like that. So that's going to be really cool to see how she can exactly go about those. And um, that's actually a really interesting way to go about her powers. So it's not exactly telepathy or anything like that, but uh, kind of a very, very uh, stripped-down version of it, I guess you could say. And then, obviously, Quicksilver has... He's, he's a lightning fast, as it's described. Um, and that's about it. Even though they say he has powers that have not yet been seen on screen, we've seen super speed. Maybe the way they're going to do it's different, but I don't know exactly what they mean by that. I don't think Quicksilver has any more abilities besides super speed, unless they want to really go into it and do time manipulation, but I really doubt they'll do that. Um, also, they mention Vision, but they don't say what his powers are. They just say he's an artificial life form who... Uh, at, who, he'll add a new power base to the Avengers, scene, Avengers team. Um, also, I don't want to make this video too long, um, and if you want to see this, I'll put the link in the description. But the Hulkbusters also, I guess, uh, it's going to be a part of a satellite that's always in low orbit following Bruce Banner. So if he were to Hulk out and go out of control, the pieces for it can automatically come down, and Iron Man can just kind of fly over there and be in the Hulkbuster armor and take down the Hulk. And I guess the way the Hulkbuster armor would have been developed is it's Bruce Banner and Tony Stark together they worked on it evaluating you know several Hulk out moments to kind of judge how strong the Hulk is you know usually things like that to make the best way to make a suit that could kind of contain him I guess with the hopes of Banner kind of relaxing and you know getting a hold of himself not really uh doesn't seem like the Hulk Buster is really made to take down the Hulk as much as it is kind of to just keep him there that makes sense neutralize him more so um than just take him down so uh yeah this is actually is actually really really cool um you know check the link in the description if you want to see the rest of them and without further ado uh it's josh i'll see you later oh hey 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. I don't know what exactly you just saw, but I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you really did like it, go check out our other stuff. You know, we have social media, Facebook, Twitter. The link should be somewhere here. Also, we have other channels too. We have our movie video game channel. We have our music channel. Obviously our comic book channel too, because we know we do all that entertainment awesomeness. We also have a website. Go to our website, hypernetworkyt.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, that's all I really have to say. It's Josh, and you know I hope you guys enjoyed you know what you watched.